welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. When should we go for APQP or Advanced Product Quality Planning? In the previous lecture, we studied why should we go for APQP. We talked that APQP basically reduces the chances of risk of quality in the product and the process and helps to build the products according to the demand of the customers and that also fast or reduced cycle time. Now, let us discuss when it is must to go for APQP or adopt APQP. APQP facilitates for the communication in the entire supply chain, be it the manufacturer, supplier or customer. However, there are two key important areas of use of APQP. Number one, new product introduction. You might have heard whenever any new product or a new design or new specification is set for a new product line, we use APQP. The main reason for this is APQP focuses on risk and risk areas and take actions on risk so that we can help minimize the rate of failure. APQP uses a risk-based approach for all areas, be it process design, product design, packaging design or making any improvements. Number two, when there is a product or a process change, whenever any changes in design or features of the product or whenever there is change in the product or process outside that product development, we need to adopt the APQP. It helps to assure that the change is managed successfully by preventing problems created by the change. Let's take a short quiz on this one. Under which of the following scenario, adopting APQP is must? As I mentioned earlier, APQP can be used by any type of manufacturing activities for improving products or process, but then we have to select if we can use APQP in the following scenario. The first scenario is a tire manufacturing facility wants to adapt the new feature of tubeless tires for one of its product line as per the demand of customers. The company found that the customers prefer the tubeless and self-healing tires. Should the company go for APQP approach for planning and development of new production line? Yes or no? Take your time. You can pause the video now. Okay, let me reveal the answer. The correct answer to this question is yes. We can go for the APQP approach because we see here that the entire product is changed from tube tires to tubeless. So for this, the process will also have to be entirely different. It's always better to adopt APQP if we have new product introduction. Let's see the second scenario. Kiran is a production manager at Gunjan Juice. He observes that the low yield of the product is probably due to the leakage of a pipe joining the filling tank to the storage tank. He needs a quick fix. Should he go for the APQP approach? Yes or no? Okay, let me reveal the answer. This time, the scenario is completely different. APQP is not a tool of quick fix, but an organized approach of improving the quality of the product and processes. Probably, it's better if it goes for the root cause analysis to find the causes of the leak and fix them. So for this time, he needs a quick fix to prevent the leak. The answer is no. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, agile and scrum, kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free no strings attached as we have limited seats only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember it's totally free please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all